Hey guys, it's Dan, your host, Studio Ninja Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for today. This one's going to be doing another video for Dead City. We're going to talk about the recent announcement that they just made in regards to Season 2 coming in 2025. We're going to make some predictions on when exactly we think this season will happen. Alright guys, this one's going to be doing a review today, this one's going to be doing a review for The Walking Dead, Dead City, and in today's video we're going to be going over some of your guys' comments and some of your guys' responses to the release date of Dead City Season 2. If you didn't see the video we uploaded yesterday, we talked about uh, a brand new teaser, a in-production teaser that they released for Dead City Season 2. Got a few more discussion topic videos I want to make in regards to that over the next coming days, um, but this one I thought was definitely one that we should definitely talk about because it is the release date, at least the closest one we're going to get for now, which is at the end of the teaser it said coming 2025 so now we're going to talk about when exactly we think this is going to happen in 2025 also what other walking dead shows do we think we're going to be getting this uh, upcoming year in 2025 because 2024 i would argue besides the daryl dixon show which is going to be coming out uh, at some point this year um that's about it for walking dead universe this year it's just the rest of you know daryl and then that'll probably be it for walking dead for us fans this year unless they have some other kind of you know secret project that they're not telling us about but i highly doubt it so so 2025 definitely sounds like a big year for Walking Dead. It definitely sounds like a pretty, uh, you know, pretty eventful year. Um, I'm very curious to see when they're going to be doing Dead City. Now, me personally, at least my, you know, perspective on this is I feel like this is going to be very early on in that year. I feel like that's going to probably spill into about February or March of 2025. Um Mostly because they're filming it right now. They're already almost halfway through filming season two. I doubt that they would make us wait until summer of 2025. I mean, they could, but honestly, I don't see them doing that. I don't see them going from like summer to like, you know, early fall for Daryl Dixon and then waiting all the way until summer of, you know, like next year for a new season of Walking Dead. I just don't see them making us wait because I think they know that if they go that inactive for that amount of time, a lot of people are going to lose interest. You know what I'm saying? So I doubt they're going to do that. So my personal prediction for this is that I feel like it's going to be in February around the same time this year as Ones Who Live came out, you know, transition that to next year, I think February 2025 is when we'll get Dead City. Now, keep in mind, that's going to be eight weeks rather than six weeks, you know what I'm saying? So, you also have to consider that. So, that's probably going to take us into like, you know, some point in April, you know what I mean? And after that, I'm thinking that we'll probably get Daryl Dixon Season 3. Now, my only thing about this is that will we get Daryl Dixon Season 3 in 2025? I think we will. I do. Because they're already going back into filming pretty soon for Daryl Season 3. I think it's legit starting in like a, another week or two um, from what I've heard. And obviously, the rumor is it's going to be filming in Spain. So if that's the case, I feel like fall 2025 or maybe summer 2025 um, is when Daryl Season 2 is going to happen or Season 3 is going to happen. Um, so 2025, I feel like the the way this is going to kind of go is that we're going to have Dead City in like February to like April. We'll probably take a little bit of a break. And then later in that year, we'll get Daryl Dixon season three. Now, I don't know if Walking Dead's just going to remain with these two shows going forward and that's it. Or if we're going to get another spinoff in 2025 or maybe, you know, starting to be made in 2025 leading into 2026. Because Gimple's mind is always working, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like there, there could be another spinoff that he's cooking up. I feel like he is, to be honest. Um, I feel like that's yet to be announced. It might even be announced at Comic-Con this year. It would not surprise me at all. Um, because I feel like with The Walking Dead... I feel like you do need that one more show to keep the franchise like active, active, you know what I'm saying? Maybe he wants it to just be these two, you know, two shows. I'm fine with that for a little bit. Um, but I feel like there, you could definitely use a, a one more little project there to kind of, you know, tie things over and stuff like that. But again, maybe that's not what they want to do. Maybe they want to do less, you know, and, and up the quality even more, but do less shows. I'm good with that if that's what they want to do, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but, you know, we'll have to see, you know, there's a lot of things to consider, I think, coming into this, uh, this season and, you know, 2025 because 2025 you got to recognize is the 15th year of the tv universe that's insane that is absolutely insane so i don't know how much more they're going to do i really don't but you know definitely at least a couple more years you know what i'm saying probably at least you know four to five seasons of daryl and dead city which will definitely get us close to about 2030 i would say um at that point i don't know what else they're going to do i don't know what else they would want to do um 
But, you know, who knows? I know Scott Gimple probably has a million different spinoffs planned in his head. I just know that for a fact. Um, but, yeah, you know, so I'm thinking early 2025. I heard some comments of people that were kind of rather upset of, well, two things, really. Um, one, people were upset that it was delayed till 2025. And, you know, I have to sometimes kind of, you know, um, defend Walking Dead here a little bit because, you know, you have to understand that, yes, you know, we as fans are upset that Dead City isn't this year, but you also got to remember that, you know, that is still a lot of production to do. And that's eight episodes rather than six episodes, you know what I'm saying? And they're just filming it now, and we're almost in June. There is no way in hell they would have that ready for the fall, you know? Production, you know, um, uh, you know, post, you know, uh, stuff, you know, it, it, it wouldn't work. You know, all the CGI that they're doing and all that stuff, no, there's absolutely no way. That's why it's going to be in 2025. I think it'll be early 2025, but it's going to be 2025, definitely. And it, it makes the most sense, you know? Um... Anybody that knows anything about filmmaking or production or anything like that, you'll know why, um, you know, and uh, I completely understand why they're taking that amount of time. Not to mention, you want it to come out as nice as possible. You don't want it to come out a rushy, buggy mess, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, no, that makes absolute sense. And, well, then I also heard people saying, like, oh, yeah, like, you know, uh, hopefully, like, this season's, you know, hopefully this season's good, you know what I'm saying? Like, if they, they're taking all this time to do it and stuff like that. And my, my thing is with that is that it's like, I don't know, to me, it's it, it I think the season looks really good. Um, I heard some people kind of saying, like, oh, like, it doesn't look as good and stuff like that. I'm like, well, it's behind the scenes production, guys. <laughs> like, you know, and then I also heard other people saying, they're like, well, how dare we get this and not get any kind of Daryl season two promotion, you know? And I'm like, I don't know. For me personally, I'll take what I can get. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll take what I can get. Um, yeah, we may not have Daryl Dixon footage right now, but at least we know that's coming, you know? Um, I feel like some people are getting a little over the top with that stuff, you know? I will admit, I was getting impatient there for a little while, but after getting this for Dead City, no, they're, they're keeping us updated a little bit, you know? And I have to support that and I have to respect that and that you know to me is is good enough You know, what I'm saying like I'm good now for a little while. I'm very happy that dead city gave us some info um you know, I'm, uh, I'll patiently wait for Daryl Dixon, you know what I'm saying? Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, let me know your thoughts, though. Let me know your uh, opinions down in the comments. Do you guys think that uh, Dead City should have been this year? I definitely disagree with that statement, but, you know, some people do think so. So let me know in the comments. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. Post comments down below. Do you think we're going to get any kind of new spinoffs next year added to the uh, the roster of Daryl Dixon and Dead City? Or do you think Daryl Dixon and Dead City is all we're getting in 2025? Let me know. So if you're new to the channel and you enjoy videos like this, make sure to click the subscribe. Don't you miss any other videos of The Walking Dead? Be sure to follow me at Dan's The Walking Dead Views on Instagram, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys very soon for more videos of The Walking Dead Universe. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out.